Well, what are you making? A wood duck box. A wood duck box. Good. What kind of wood's that? What kind of wood's that? Cedar? Cedar. Clear cedar. Alright, let's cut it up. Always remember, safety first. No substitute for safety. All right, Georgia, what's next? About to cut the hole. Oh, uh, yeah? Now, why do we cut the hole 16 inches from the bottom? So well, I'll tell you what we'll do next. All right, Georgia, so what do we cut next? We're going to cut the door in the side. Okay, we're doing the door now, right? Yeah. All right. And it's a complicated cut. It's a 45-degree cut. Reason being, we're going to hinge the upper part, and that way you can swing the door out, and it'll have enough to hold the bedding in, or the eggs if they're in there. And the reason you want to cut a 45 is that way water can run off of it. She should be saying that. Fits right in there. All right, Georgia, what are we about to do now? We're about to cut the hole. And why are we cutting the hole 16 inches from the bottom? So that the raccoon can't get the duck and kill it. How rough this is, or either put a wire ladder in here, because the babies climb out and jump out of this box when they hatch, and they don't come back. So the grain, the, the, we're going to have to put the door up on, or the hole up on this end, because it's kind of, they could climb better this way. The same shape and size as the duck's body. Because she flies into this box. She don't crawl into it. She pretty much flies into it. So you'd think she'd knock herself out. Hitting the back side of it. But they don't. So. It's a uh, oval. Three by four inch mm -hmm. hole opening. That's right. Join them lines up down there. Hold it. All right. See your bait. Don't bend your blade. See. Keep it, you can turn it without bending your blade. Go ahead and finish Go the real trip. slow. Nice just let slow. the let the saw sort of guide you through. Good job. Take the saw out. Fall out I think. Knock it out. <coughs> there you go. Pretty good for your first time. Mark your 14 on each side. You should have seen her working that jig shot. 
show. Did she do it good? Yeah. <laughs> this accessory is a you'll start and make a that way you know where your center is. Okay, come over here and mark 14 over here. <laughs> Alright. Now take this, connect the point, and hold it straight and line it up and get your straight line. Get your uh, get it right on your your V. Okay. Straight down. Okay. All right. a piece of that other other side. This one? Yeah, it'll be fine. No, the, the bigger one would be better. Alright, let's put it What you got, Georgia? Starting <laughs> to look like something now. What you think, Georgia? Why didn't we use screws? Well, the glue is really what's going to hold it together. Okay. But uh, I just have nails. I'll just use water. <laughs> there you go. Right. sort of help waterproof it. Alright, put your little guide pins back in there so you'll get in your holes. And then put this front guide pin in there. There we go. <coughs> now we'll get this side one in over here. Alright. I want you to put a nail. I'll get it started for you. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Man, swing that hammer all day, it's gonna be a man. Or the woman that swings that hammer all day is gonna be a man. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Come 
Here, George, I'll let you round this up. Just do like that right there. So what are we doing? Rounding the top of the door so it swings better. So it opens up better. Just take that bevel off. There. Now you gotta go like this. And what's it doing? You want it to fit flush, so your top's gotta be just so so. Alright. Let me see where I... Okay. Let's bend that. Try and have this other hole about as straight back because it's going to be a hinge. There'll be a nail in here and a nail here. And you'll be able to swing that door out. So you, you can open the door and clean it out. I want to try and get this hole about straight with that other hole. Okay? But you went far enough. See when you shut it. Well, you can go in there every year, clean out the old nesting right. material, and put new in. Now I'm going to show you this as well. This is how you put a lock on it. Okay. All right. Now all you got to do is just stick that down in there. Okay. Then she won't kick it out Just when she's rolling it out right in there, see? Don't want it on the hinge of the door. Got a drill, wheel, wheel. All right, we're Should putting the it. bottom on. All right. And what were you saying we need to do to the bottom? We got to drill drainage holes in there with a big bit when we get it attached. All right. When just like ducks, a one inch spade bit or something, or is that too no, big? No, no, just like a, just a five eighths or something like that. Not right. too big, just All something. Right. Cause ducks, when they come in there, they're usually wet. Right. Get a little holding pins in. 